Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to take a, a minute today to talk about uh, what I think is one of the coolest uh, YouTube videos on YouTube, and that's the one of the uh, marble machine that Ronald Walters uh, has done. I don't know if you've seen this, but if you haven't, be sure and check it out. Uh, I'll put a link uh, down in the description to uh, so you can go check it out and watch it, but. You know, the first time I saw it, and I don't know how long he's had it on there, I think three or four years or something, but um, I stumbled onto it probably, uh, I don't know, two, maybe three years ago, and I just thought it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. Uh, you know, the figure eight uh, gear lift was just awesome, uh, the way he designed it, and he didn't, you know, he didn't go off any plans, he just kind of did it all uh, on, the, you know, trial and error, I think, but anyways... Great, uh, great marble machine. Uh, the bad thing about it, if there is one bad thing, and that's that Ron didn't, because he just kind of did it uh, as he went along, he didn't create any plans. And um, that's one of the first things I looked for when I saw it. I was looking down in the comments to see if anybody, uh, you know, and I saw where people had asked him if he had plans or if he would sell that one. And of course, you know, he didn't want to sell that one. And um, anyway, so. Uh, I mean, the thing is just just awesome. It, I think he's got like close to 700,000 views on that, that one video alone for that marble machine. And I know probably two or three hundred of them are, are from me because I spent uh, a lot of time watching that video, uh, you know, stopping it and starting it as it slowed down and or as it spun around. I would stop it, count the number of teeth on a gear and count up how many gears and all this kind of stuff trying to develop. Um, you know, a drawing of my own because I wanted to make one. So uh, today I'm going to show you what I came up with and uh, hopefully uh, y'all will like this and, and uh, these plants will be available for free as always uh, on my website. But I wanted to show um, what, what, what kind of a model I came up with. Okay, like I said, Ron didn't have uh, a set of plants that he was selling for this so uh, I just spent a lot of time watching it. Uh, counting teeth, counting, uh, trying to count how many balls he had in this thing, and uh, just spent a, a lot of time, probably way more than I should have, uh, sitting on my butt watching YouTube trying to uh, figure this out. But anyway, this is what I came up with. Uh, I think it's reasonably close to uh, what Ron built. Uh, I don't really have any way of knowing because I don't know the dimensions, but, uh, you know, I tried to... Uh, uh, pick a, a pitch of gear that, that would, would work and I think I've got the same number of teeth on these gears that uh, that he has on his so that being said it may be fairly close. I know I had to write this down so I could remember I know this one uses two of these big gears these are the internal spur gears these are 52 teeth uh, uses 124, I can't remember where it is, I think maybe it's that one, uh, two 17 tooth gears, one 15 tooth gear, one 38 tooth gear, which would be this one back here, and I can just pull that off, uh, two uh, 28 uh, teeth gears, which I believe is this white one and this blue one here, uh, and then six of these 12. And so that's a total of 15 gears, and I think Ron uses 16, which the 16th one would be the one that I, that, I, that he's got on his motor, and, and um, you know, I, I think that's correct. But anyway, when I made this one, uh, I made this one out of half-inch MDF, and, uh, you know, I drew everything up, uh, cut a lot of the parts on my CNC, so I got really good parts, and then I kind of screwed it all up because I got the bright idea to paint it and, and then after I painted it it all kind of got where it was real sticky and didn't want to move smooth so uh, you know I, I built the box I got the motor I've got the steel ball bearings I've even built a few of the little uh, other little uh, I don't know what you call them like the little thing where the balls fill up in a bucket and then after so much weight it dumps and you know that kind of thing I built a few things like that but then I got to thinking man I've, I've really got some other projects I need to do uh, so I kind of put this on the back burner and uh, decided I was going to finish it one day. Uh, and uh, when I do get ready to finish it, I'm probably going to start over at least with the gears and do them all out of uh, Baltic Bridge 
uh, plywood half inch or something instead of uh, instead of this MDF because uh, MDF just didn't look right plain but yeah once I painted it then it kind of you know MDF gets a little fuzzy and stuff so anyway I should have probably should have just left the plane but at any rate uh, I did want to let everybody know that I've got drawings of this I've got uh, you know PDF files DXF files kind of showing how it goes together as well as I have full scale uh, DXF files for every single piece that you see here uh, that you can print off uh, cut out put on a piece of wood cut around them and you're and you're good to go so I uh, just wanted to shoot a quick video letting uh, people know that I, I'm going to put that up on my website. I know that there's a, a lot of people, because I've read Ron's comments, and I know there's a lot of people that are always asking him uh, if he's got plans for this thing, and, and he didn't. So, uh, you know, I don't have it all, you know, you know so you'd have, to, you'd have to watch that video a few hundred times like me to, to come up with the rest of the stuff, the uh, little spiral ball and all that. But... This gives you uh, the, the figure eight gear lift, uh, all that uh, figuring out already done for you. So anyway, again, this, this will be up on the website uh, by the time you're watching this video. So feel free to go up there and get a free download. Uh, and uh, I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, I want to thank all my subscribers. I'm still getting a bunch of subscribers. Uh, so my channel's uh, starting to grow a little bit. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, so anyway, until next time, we'll talk to you later.